The Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen said on the uh, British exit from the EU, it could have consequences for economic financial markets. It is certainly one of the uncertainties that we discussed and that factored into today's decision. And of course, they vote on this, this uh, move next Thursday. Stephen, uh, we've been talking about Brexit a long time. Uh, <laughs> is this going to really have ramifications for the business world? So I think... Well, it has ramifications for the Fed, maybe more than the business world, maybe more than the economy. So I think that the fears of Brexit, that if England leaves, uh, we're going to have uh, either a recession in England or a recession in Europe because of it. I think those fears are probably overblown. There are other countries outside of uh, the EU that have trade deals with the EU. And there, there are probably some benefits to England uh, leaving, too. They, they don't have to live by the EU, EU rules, and that could lower costs for certain things. Um, but I do think that it's a, it's a concern for markets. And it's a particular concern because, um, uh, for the Fed because what, one of the major problems with the Fed raising interest rates with the global economy so weak is that it's going to help the dollar, and that makes it harder for us to, to export. And if, e, if uh, England leaves the EU, it's probably going to hurt the pound. Then we try to raise the interest rates. The uh, dollar's going to be even stronger. makes it even harder for us to export. Right. Uh, I have a question, though, to follow. Uh, what, a lot of companies were saying uh, uh, that they might have to move their headquarters, things like that, big, big operations, especially financial services companies in Britain. Do you think that really matters? People were talking about loss of jobs, things like that. Does it... Well, I think I think it's more threats than actual. I think those companies need to be, the city, you know, city of London, where the, where the financial center there is probably pretty strong. I think the major financial firms are going to have to stay, but you know, it's going to be harder for them to do business. I mean, one of the reasons they're there is because they have easy access to Europe. If they don't have that easy access, they may think, oh, maybe I'm better off in another, you know, European capital. But you know, the way markets work, it's very much economies of scale. I think they probably stay. Yeah, and I imagine that uh, the famous Silicon Roundabout in London is not really going to be impacted so much by this? Mm, no, not so much. <laughs>